Welcome back to the homestead and tonight I'm just finishing up the chores here and uh, buttoning down the hatches here in the evening here in the barn uh, but uh, I wanted to share some exciting news and some stuff we're doing here at the homestead and uh, one of the things we just did and I'll show you some video of this is we just took our well two of our Nigerian dwarf goats we have uh, two that are sisters Nancy and Nellie and we took them over to our neighbor's uh, farm she is she raises goats she has a goat hip goat farm it's called fox glove hill goat farm and check them out on facebook uh but she does a wonderful job raising goats and we took our two over they were there for a little over a week and uh, we bred them we picked out two of the males we wanted to to brio actually my daughter abby picked them out and uh we just got them back so we're excited uh, we should be having some uh babies here uh probably in May sometime, uh, beginning to mid-May, somewhere in there. Uh, but we are excited, so check this video out. Well, Ab and I got the goats loaded in. There they are. Girls. All right, here are our girls. So. We're gonna go meet who we're gonna breed them with. So, and. All right, girls. <laughs> All right, here are the boys. Which one are we, we going to bring? The silver one and the, the brown one back there. All right, they're going to be the papas. Hey, Richie. Richie. Come here. Richie. Come on. Hi, Richie. Which one, Ab? Are we doing both of them? Yeah. That one and that one. Nice. Wrangler is super pretty. Who's that up there? That is Peso. That's Shaggy. Richie's son. Is Shaggy in here? That's Shaggy right there. Oh. Quad is over there. He's in with my Humane Society buck, and he's working on making sure that the girls come into heat. So, because <laughs> the girls all really love. <laughs> so, I'm hoping soon somebody will adopt Little Lucky. So, our girls are back, and let's go check these girls out in here. There they are. You can't escape. But, there they are. Happy to be home. There's Everest jumping up. How are you doing, Everest? So, Let's get them back in their cage here. So there's our girls. We're happy to have them back and excited to have some babies. So our next, one of my next projects here is I'm gonna have to, right now we have four stalls in here. 
they're pretty big. Like I can, like on this one here, I'm gonna be able to, uh, you know, cut in half here. It's a pretty big stall for when they have babies. And, uh, but I am going to add on another stall in here. I don't know how I'm gonna configure it yet because, uh, you know, this whole half of the barn here is pretty much stalls as you can see. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna configure this yet, but uh, that is my next project. Get some more rooms in here because Lily here are beautiful fin sheep. She is going to be expecting. I'm. I'm. We're assuming within a month here, she's going to be having babies and uh, be lambing here pretty soon. So we're excited about that. So we'll have to take uh, split these two up and and uh, have her. But when when you have some lambs, sometimes you put them in. You you want them in a more confined confined space. So she kind of has to nurse uh, the little lamb. So we're. Uh, we're excited about that. So, not sure yet what I'm gonna do stall-wise here, cause this is kind of the area. You know, I have the door there, the entry into there. So I have a couple ideas, but I'm gonna still lose <laughs> some room here. So I'm thinking about in the other section over here, adding on some space, so. So one of the places I'm thinking is, is this half is taking out this big, I have a really large coop here and we usually we raise meat chickens in. And I'm thinking about cutting it in half and putting a stall up here. I think I'm gonna have to. Right now I have it completely packed with hay. I just went and got 45 more bales this weekend. I have about a hundred, a little over a hundred bales right now, but that hay is so good. I have a, I get it from a guy and Try to see if you can see it. His hay, he just takes care of his fields and the, he his, he has nice tight bales. And I mean, it makes a difference. My animals love this hay. We've got hay before from people and it's been like old and musty or just full of weeds and it's just bad hay. This is, I will never get my hay from anybody else as long as he sells it. And, I, and, uh, and he sells a very reasonable too as well. But, so that's what I'm thinking. That's probably gonna be my project here this winter is to figure out how to, <laughs> somewhere to put my hay, maybe stack it in here somewhere. And uh, man, I'm just running out of room in here. And we just added this huge section on here, uh, but I'm, at, I'm losing room, so. <laughs> But exciting, exciting times. Gonna be have some babies here to homestead. Oh, I wanted to show you this too before I forget. Let me turn the light back on in here. <laughs> so I picked up these cameras. I have one here. And I have one here. You can see it. And it oversees. So I have one right here on Lily. Let's see, it's kind of pointing down and it gets, literally it gets this whole stall here so I can watch her and it's run off your internet and you can, uh, I have the app on my phone and I can watch them at night and it, um, you know, so, cause you know, she's gonna be having a baby here and I wanna see, <laughs> you know, keep an eye on her when we're not here, I check up on her all the time. Make sure there's nothing happening and it's just a great little feature and these cameras are only like $19.99 or 19, you know 20 bucks so i have a couple out of, of them out here i have also have one in here i have three of them in the barn <laughs> tell i love my animals i have one right here on the chickens and that shows me all my chickens so pretty neat little cheap little security for your barn especially when you're getting ready to have babies. So I'll put a link down below to these cameras as well. So thanks for watching y'all. God bless and uh, have a Merry Christmas.